Hey guys, welcome back. So our last one, we had tried to um, start encrypting a file. Now we'd read it in, uh, and we'd encrypted each line, but we hadn't then done really anything with that apart from print it out or return it. Uh, I think I had a print there before, um, so that we could see what was going on inside. Now that's not super useful, um, because we probably want to save this and send it somewhere else. So today we're going to look at how we could then write that back out to a different file. Now, one thing to notice is that last time I was very silly and I forgot to do something. So I forgot to close my connection to the file. Now, what does that do? Well, it just releases the file. It says, I am not using it anymore. Somebody else can use it if they have to. Um, it probably saves us a bit of memory as well because we're not having to keep this connection open um, it just frees up stuff for everybody else. So whenever you've finished dealing with a file, you should try and close it. So now, we want to try and print out to a file. Now, we could do it in here, but again, it just makes more sense if we do it in a separate section. So, uh, I'm going to call mine out file. And I'm going to do open. And uh, let's call it cipher. .txt is where I'm going to write to, and I'm going to do it for w. Now, um, one thing about this is you could use x to create a file, but w, as far as I'm aware at least, basically will check and see, does the file exist? If it doesn't, it will create it. If it exists, it will write to it. And so w is probably a bit more useful than just trying to create a file um, because, well, that just, yeah, because then we're going to get an error when we try to create it the second time. So it's maybe easier to just use W, um, X is maybe not, maybe for special occasions. Okay, so, uh, once I've opened the file and I've opened it for write, I can then out file dot write. Um, this will be the cipher. Okay, and then fingers crossed, if I say, oh, now again, I'm being very bad because I should close the file once I'm done. But let's see what happens. Boom, good, that's a good sign. And now if I go to my folder, ah, you can see I have cipher. And in there it says, this will be the cipher, which matches uh, my thing here. Now, one thing to notice is when I write to a file using W, it will erase everything that was there before. If I wanted to keep everything that was there before, I can use A for append, and it will just add it to the end of that text file. Okay, so W or A, depending on what you want to do. Um, the other thing to notice is if I did file.write, um, my second line, and I run it, it might not look exactly as you expect it to, because it just crushes it all together. And that's because we need to add on a new line character. So those of you who remember the last one, uh, we did dot strip to remove, yeah, strip to remove the new line characters and all these other things. So what we probably need to do is at the end of each line, we want to put on a new line character so that it's going to appear on a new line of the text file. Yay! Okay, so that's how we're going to write out our stuff to the file. So, um, do I need anything else in here? No, I mean, this is sort of my code. Uh, but let's say, for example, my encrypted lines were, for some reason, uh, anything, some more anything, and some more anything. So how would I go about putting encrypted lines into that file? Well, it would be very similar to before. I'm going to use the error file, I'm going to open it for write, and then I'm going to do for line in 
ink lines. Again, you could write that out as 4x in range if you wanted to. Sorry, for it, align and x lines. And I'm going to out file dot write ba -ba -ba, the line. And I'm going to add on a new line character at the end as well. Alrighty, let's see what happens. Okay, it's possibly good. Yay! Okay, so that's then been added to the cipher file. I'm getting loads of them open. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, so this would be how we write it out. Now, once again, we've got to think about what if um, there was an error? Yeah, what if someone else was already writing to cipher text? They've locked the file for some reason, and we try and open it to write to it, and the system says no. Well, we use exactly the same as we did last time. We use our try and we use our accept. So I'm going to do something like that. And then I'm going to have my accept on the ender. And again, you can get the more exact exceptions like file not found sort of stuff. But again, I'm just going to give it the print. Sorry, couldn't write too far. Now again, you could you could have better uh, error handling, something that gives them more options rather than just displaying an error. Um, but that'll do for now. Okay, so now we want to take this and once again add it into our main code. So, and um, notice I'm not taking the array. I'm just going to take the try and accept part. And I'm going to jump back to my da, 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 my main code here. And I'm going to find my encrypt file method. Now, we've got the file name, we've got the key, and we've got PT array. So rather than print the array, I am going to do... I'm annoying it doesn't copy as well as I would like. Um, I am going to do the stuff that I just did from the other files. So I'm going to try and do it, and I'm going to write it in. Now, notice I've said for line and ink lines, but my array is called PT array. So I'm going to take the PT array and put it there. Now, what you might want to do is have some other checking just to make sure there's something in the array. Loads of stuff you could add here to make it just a, a bit more of a proper program or an in-depth program. But for us, with what we're doing, um, it's hopefully going to be enough. Now, I would also like to give them the option of what file do they want to write to. So I've got file name for the input file. Um, maybe I'm just going to call it out file equals input. Uh, what file would you like to write to? Okay, give them the option. Okay, and then I'm going to pass that in as a parameter as part of my other um, bit here. So out file is going to go in there as a parameter. And if I've got out file as a parameter, then I'm going to have to change it on my actual function as well. And I'm not going to write to cipher.txt, I'm going to try and write to out file. Okay, so let's see if that works. Uh, let's give it a go. Um, now, let me just check. I do have uh, good, uh, my plain text, it does contain some stuff. Good. Okay. And close the file. Ba, ba, ba. Oops. Now, I want that close to be after the for loop. Lucky I spotted it. Okay, so I want to encrypt my file. Name of the file, plain text.txt. Uh, and I want to write it to sci3.txt. I don't know why sci3.txt, I just want to do something different. Fingers crossed! <gasps> okay, so it prints that stuff out. Again, I probably want to get rid of this printing of the, the cipher, but... Bam, bam, bam. Oh, Psi 3, here we go. 
Yay! Okay, so my cipher has been printed out into that other text file. Yay! Okay, so let's just tidy this up a bit because I'm starting to get a bit annoyed with some of the other things that are going on. Um, so what was my issue? My issue is that I'm printing the cipher every time. So I don't want that to happen. Um, now, do, do, do. now down here, when I do enter the crypt to do it, when I'm encrypting, I'm going to print it down here instead. Okay, now this is just a bit of a tidy up thing. Now, what else do I want to do? Well, if I've actually been successful in, um, if I've been able to encrypt the file, which means there's been no errors, then um, I maybe want to just print a success message um, at the end here. Now, I could do it at the outside, but then it's going to print if the accept happens. So let's do it inside the file. Print. Uh, Cipher created. Just try and get a bit more um, user interface going on here. Okay, what would you like to do? Um, encrypt file. Name of the file is still plain text.txt. And I want to do size4.txt. Cipher created. Good, so that's getting a bit more user friendly now, isn't it? Um, yeah, because I don't have all this extra stuff coming. And I can exit. Now if I go to here, I have Cy4 now. Yay! And it contains the stuff that I wanted to deal with. Alrighty. Good. Uh, hopefully that works for you guys. Any questions, uh, let me know.